Hi everybody, this is DJ Jason here. So today, we're actually tackling the assumption method. And it's a question that is hardly seen in PSLE, except that it is actually reappeared again in your 2023 paper. So the method is actually a form of your heuristics again. Where it's very similar to the other questions that I've covered in the recent videos. So as long as you understand a generic set of workings, we're able to reapply for very similar questions. When we look at this question over here, we actually notice it's a better example as compared to our guess and check. Because the guess and check requires us to do a little bit of guessing. Sometimes it takes us a couple of steps to be able to guess out the correct answer. But for the assumption method over here, we have a systematic flow. You can see, in five simple steps, we will be able to determine the answer for our questions. Let's say we have 356 apples that we want to split into 100 boxes. Now, the boxes will either be in boxes of 3 or boxes of 5. However, we are not given a number for either one of them. In this case, what we can do here is to actually do an assumption to deduce how many of these apples will be in which box. Assuming if let's say the question is asking for boxes of 3, the number of boxes of 3 we use here, we actually will start to assume with the other number first. When we assume all of these boxes are in boxes of 5, so 5 apples, we notice that the number of apples that we can find over here would be 100 boxes times 5 apples, giving us 500 apples. However, is that the number that we want? But no, we are trying to tell ourselves 500 apples when there was actually only 356. So we take 500 minus 356, giving us 144. Why is there an extra 144 apples? Because we say boxes of 5, but we wanted to have more boxes of 3 as well, because it's a mixture of the two. So we notice that if we were to change one of the boxes of 5 to boxes of 3, we are going to be losing 2 apples. 5 minus 3, we get 2. How many times do I need to make the switch? Each time I do, I minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So my 500 apples will reduce 500, 498, 496, which is the, again, typical guess and check method. However, we know that we want to reduce by 144 apples. Each time we reduce by 2 apples. This is the reason why we actually wanted to start off with the opposite one. Because if we start off by counting 5 apples first, the first thing that we'll count at the end here would be the boxes of 3. This will give us 1, 44, divided by 2, you give us 72. And just to take note again, 72 what? 72 boxes of 3. This is our answer. However, if you want to still determine the boxes of 5, we can also do so by taking 100 minus 3, the 72. You can add one more step at the end, 100 minus 72, giving us 28. And the final answer here would be 28. So the assumption method, again, very rarely seen, but at the same time, something important for us to revise, just in case if it were to appear again in this round's PSLE.